माई नेम इज पंकज गुप्ता एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सटेंड माई टॉपिक सिंगल फेस ट्रांसफार्मर इक्वलेंट सर्किट एंड एफिशेंसी द इक्वलेंट सर्किट इज शोन इन फिगर इट इज द कम्प्लीट सर्किट मॉडल द प्राइमरी साइड इज शोन बाय वन एंड द सेकेंडरी साइड इज शोन बाय टू साइड वी वन इज द प्राइमरी वोल्टेज आई वन इज द प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग करेंट आर वन इज द प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग रेजिस्टेंस एक्स वन इज द प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग रिएक्टेंस आई वन डैश इज द करेंट विच इज गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस द ई एम एफ आई सी इज द कोर लॉस करेंट एंड आई एम इज द मैगनेटाइजिंग करेंट आर सी इज द कोर लॉस रेजिस्टेंस एंड एक्स एम इज इक्ल द मैगनेटाइजिंग रिएक्टेंस द रेशियो बिटवीन द प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी इज एन वन इज टू एन टू I2 is the secondary current R2 and X2 are the secondary resistance and secondary reactance V2 is the secondary terminal voltage E1 is the primary induced EMF and E2 is the secondary induced EMF this one is the complete circuit model of the single phase transformer now equivalent circuit may be calculated as refer to primary side or refer to secondary side this slide shows that uh, the equivalent circuit refer to primary side means the secondary parameter will come to the primary side with some changes v1 is the terminal voltage of primary side i1 is the primary side current r1 and x1 are, are the resistance and reactance of the primary side rc and xm are same as mentioned in the previous slide I2 dash, R2 dash, X2 dash are the changed value of the secondary parameters. These secondary parameters have the value as shown in the equations. Here we have used the transformation ratio. The V2 dash becomes A V2, and I2 dash becomes I2 upon A. The R2 dash, the secondary resistance referred to primary, becomes A square R2, and reactance of secondary becomes. A square x2, where A is the transformation ratio. This is the approximate equivalent circuit referred to primary side in which the resistance R1 and R2 dash are combined together. X1 and X2 dash are combined together. V2 dash becomes V2 upon A or K. You can say R0 and XM are as 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 it is according to the previous figure. the equivalent circuit referred to the secondary is shown in figure the all the values are mentioned in the diagram r e q s means the resistance equivalent in the secondary side and x e q s means the reactance equivalent at the secondary side the resistance equivalent on the secondary side will become r2 plus r2 plus r1 upon a, a square and x equivalent will become x2 plus x1 upon a square vp upon a means primary voltage upon a becomes the v2 and rc upon a square and xm upon a square are changed value accordingly the approximate equivalent circuit refer to the secondary is shown in figure where x equivalent is the x1 dash plus x2 and r equivalent is the r1 dash plus r2 z equivalent is the z1 dash plus z2 now coming to the transformer efficiency the ratio of the output power and input power in a transformer is known as transformer efficiency the higher the efficiency the better the system efficiency formula shows that uh, it is the output power upon input power into 100% it is expressed in the percentage the p out upon p out plus losses into 100% that is P out is called the V2 I2 cos theta upon V2 I2 cos theta plus PC plus PCU, where PC is the core loss and PCU is the copper loss into 100 percent. Eta full load will become a VA cos theta upon VA cos theta plus PC plus PCU, and eta yani means uh, uh, efficiency at uh, some partial load will become N VA I A cos theta upon N VA I A cos theta plus PC plus N square PCU. For half load, n is equal to half. For quarter load, n is equal to one by four. For ninety percent of the full load, n is per, n becomes point nine. P C U is also called the P short circuit. P C is also called the P open circuit. P resembles to the losses or the power. 
now condition for the maximum efficiency efficiency is equal to 1 minus losses upon input that means 1 minus i1 square r1 plus wi that is the core loss upon v1 i1 cos phi1 then eta is equal to efficiency is equal to 1 minus i1 r1 upon v1 cos phi1 minus wi upon v1 i1 cos phi1 differentiating above equation with respect to i1 d eta by d i1 barabar is equal to 0 that is after solving these equations and putting to the zero we get the condition for maximum efficiency that the core loss is equal to copper loss copper loss is i1 square r1 and the core loss is wi this one is the discussion about the maximum efficiency and the equivalent circuit of the transformer by doing these exercises and by practice we can solve the problems uh, at the recall or understand level this one is not for the higher cognitive levels of bloom's taxonomy thank you